What the did I just watch? Hey guys, my name is Colton Steiner and thank you for tuning in to today's video. Today we are going to be discussing the Marvel Avengers Infinity War. It's going to be like a review slash reaction to the movie. I've seen it three times already, so I kind of have a good understanding of what I've seen and what I think of it. So let's get into it. Before we get into it, I'm actually going to warn everyone here, this is a spoiler-filled review. So if you haven't seen the movie, you have been warned. This, there's spoilers from here on out. Got it? So let's talk about it. I love this movie. It's a very put-together movie. They don't hold back. They go right into it. Right at the beginning, we see Thanos and his ship take over Thor, the Thor ship with all the Asgardians in there, and you see the power that Thanos has. You get a glimpse of how strong he actually is. When, when the Hulk comes and starts beating up on Thanos, and the guy says, let him have his fun, and then all of a sudden he beats the cr living crap out of the Hulk. And that goes, he, that kind of scares the Hulk because you don't see him for the rest of the movie. He, he's got a, all you see is Mark Ruffalo and that's it. I mean, he, he can't get the Hulk to come out for the rest of the movie. And I, I love that aspect because the Hulk never has been beating that badly before. And it's kind of like a confidence, like degrades his confidence in the movie that you don't really expect. You expect him to come out, but he never does. And it's actually a comedic kind of plot to the movie because here he is, Bruce Banner, trying to get the Hulk to come out, and nope, not not coming out. And he's saying, come on, get out of me. And then the Hulk says no, and it's a whole funny thing. So let's, let's go on to how they introduce Thanos. And all we've seen from Thanos is his little scenes here and there in, like, the ending scenes of movies, and you've never been able to understand how powerful he actually is. And that's that's what I love about Thanos. He thinks he's doing something right for the universe when in reality he's not. He's doing something really bad. And I loved how they introduced Spider-Man, have him come in. He's on the bus, says, Ned, make a distraction. Oh, crap, we're all going to die. And then, yes, there he is, puts on his little Spider-Man mask. And, oh, my word, I love his suit. It is very, it is absolutely awesome. So I love how they brought Spider-Man in it right at the beginning, and they his pop, pop culture references to the Alien uh, movie and how they defeated that one guy. I, I can't – I've seen the movie three times, and I still can't get the – I'll just call him Squidward. Yeah, Squidward, because that, that's what Iron Man calls him. So we'll, we'll use that. <laughs> but overall, I love this movie. It was a well-put-together movie, and it was entertaining, and that's what movies should – are supposed to do. So – it probably was my favorite Marvel movie and probably a lot of other people's because it's the biggest box office hit in movie history. So pro props to Marvel. Congratulations on such a great opening weekend. And can't, I am thrilled for Avengers 4. So let's talk about the ending. The ending is what a lot of people were kind of shocked at. And when my first reaction, like, once people started like disappearing and started fading away, it's like, crap, what is going on? You knew something was going to happen because Thanos got all the Infinity Stones, snapped his fingers, and then all of a sudden everyone starts dying left and right. Well, dying. Once they got to Black Panther and the pretty much the entire Guardians of the Galaxy crew, you knew this wasn't going to be a long-term thing. The reason I say that is... Yes, it, don't get me wrong, the scene with Spider-Man, it kind of hits you because he's like, I, I don't want to go, I don't want to go, Tony. And then he apologizes to Tony Stark saying, I'm sorry, I, I wasn't strong enough. And it, like, sure, that, that can pull at your strings in the moment, but it's like, they're, they're not killing him off. They're, he's, he's coming back. Because with as successful as Homecoming was, and they finally got a great Spider-Man, they're not going to kill him off in his third movie. I mean... He's really had one movie, a couple scenes in Civil War, and Avengers Infinity War. So they're not killing him off. They've already confirmed future movies with him and Black Panther and Guardians of the Galaxy. But so that, that's where I'm like, 
if they would have gone for like more of the side characters, then I'd be a little more concerned. But when they get out, kill out big characters like that, then then I get a little like, okay, this this they're coming back for Avengers Force, which I am, am very excited about, and that's going to be very intriguing. And I'm actually really interested to see how they actually do that. And at the end of the movie, you see Captain Marvel is making a comeback, and I'm thrilled to see that in March. And then, actually, this year in July, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp, and I think that's actually a big part of this movie as well because I think that those events are going around at the same time as Infinity War is and when everyone starts disappearing I think that's when it's like oh we need to he knows how to get into the quantum realm and all that and subatomic I think that has to do with it for Avengers 4 but don't make my word it's just an assumption but yeah that's what I think about that scene and let's move on talking about like the interactions of characters. I One of my favorite interactions was Thor in the Guardians of the Galaxy. And when they talk about, this guy isn't, Drax says, this guy, you are a dude. This guy is a man. <laughs> and they basically make fun of Peter Quill and tell him he's fat. When he, he's one sandwich away from fat, as Rocket says. But I loved that that duo with Rocket and Thor. It was such a good combination. And, and Along with Chris Pratt, Peter Quill, I, I love that interaction of Chris Helmsworth, Chris Pratt. Those characters are awesome together. But also going off of that, the entire scene with Thor and Rocket, those are <laughs> so entertaining because they're the he actually gives Rocket gives Thor an eye, which which I I I appreciate because I can't I can't look at Thor without an eye. It just seems wrong. And then when, when Thor goes down to Earth and he brings Rocket and Groot with him, and ah, oh, that was such a, I love that scene. That was that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. And something I didn't necessarily like about it was like a lot of people are like worrying about Peter Quill overreacting to Thanos killing Gamora, which I'm not fully committed on the fact that Gamora is dead. Because I think she's in the Soul Stone, essentially. It's hard to actually explain, but I, I think there's more to that story there than meets the eye. And I'm, I'm interested. I believe she'll be back when they go into the next movie. I, I think there's something that happens that brings back Spider-Man, Peter Quill, Black Panther, all those characters. But moving on from that, what do I think is going to happen? Well. I honestly am intrigued. I don't know right off the top of my head. I I think Doctor Strange knew what was going to is going to happen in the next movie because when he was telling Iron Man, uh, Peter Quill, and Spider Man about what of all those things that was going on, he saw fourteen million six hundred five, I believe, different outcomes and how many they win. They only won one. And then he tells Iron Man we're in the end game and there was no other way. So this that could be the only way that they defeat Thanos is by giving him the Infinity Stone. So I, I'm, I'm interested. I, I, I am very excited for in Avengers 4. I don't know what they're going to call it because uh, Infinity War is based on the comic Infinity Gauntlet. So... I think Nebula is going to play a bigger role if they go by the comic books, which would make sense. But let's be honest, they really haven't gone by the comic books all that much. I mean, let, let's be real here. They have to bring some sort, sort, some sort of different twist to it to make it a Hollywood-style movie because movies are never like the books. Or, yeah, yeah, movies are never like the books in a movie. <laughs> but... I'm excited. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I am very excited for all the future Marvel films coming forward. I am wearing my Marvel shirt, so I am excited. We got Ant-Man and the Wasp. We got Captain Marvel. And then we got, I believe, Spider-Man after Infinity War next year. So it's going to be a fun couple years to when we see all these people come back. And thank you for watching. But before I end this video, I'm going to actually give you guys a little update on what will happen to this channel. 
For me, I am going to be away for the next month, so I won't have any content. None. None. I'm going to Iceland, and then I have a family vacation planned. So I'm going to be kind of moving on from this setup. I, I've loved this setup. It's a very professional setup, I believe, and the microphone, the cameras that I use, I'm not going to have available for, to me. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do for this channel. But you want, might not see content for a while. I'm warning you that now because I know at least for a month I'm not going to have any cameras with me. So we'll see what happens. But I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you guys can understand that. And hopefully I'm going to try and bring content to you as fast as I can, whether it's gaming, whether it's vlogs, whether it's me ranting about stuff. It's just something that's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I want to get cameras, but I'm... I'm, I gotta pay loans off, I gotta get a job, I gotta deal with all this other stuff happening in real life as I graduate and be enter the realm of adulthood. So we will, we will see what happens. I'm, I'm thrilled to see what happens with this channel. I think moving forward we are heading into a right direction for me. I am, I have a look at my, I've been looking at content that I'm, I created a long time ago, but, and I am very pleased with my effort and if pleased with my effort and my improvements as I should say but thank you for watching and thank you for sticking around if you like this video go ahead and leave a like if you want to see more go ahead and subscribe thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye